Here's all of the amenities that you need to have in your Airbnb or vacation rental to prepare for 2021. This will get you the most bookings, the most income, the best reviews, and make hosting easier. Amenities are key. Sean Rocky Teach Airbnb Automated. I have over 100 properties and we have checklists of have to haves for our property. And I'm gonna share that with you today to prepare you to host on Airbnb in 2021. Let's jump in. Welcome back Airbnb family. This video is going to be broken down into a few different sections because certain amenities matter for certain reasons, some for competitive advantage, some to get longer stays, some to get better reviews. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why certain amenities are important, what you should do about it, how to go around getting these amenities. You're going to love this video. So in advance, please like the video and share with all of your host friends because if we all do a better job as hosts, Airbnb will get more business, VRBO will get more business, Booking.com will get more business from hotels. And that's what we're collectively trying to do here is give the best vacation rental experience so we can take that business from the Hilton and from Marriott. There's more for us that way. So without further ado, let's get into long-term amenities because this is crucial to running your business at scale. If you have more than one property, you want long-term guests. As mentioned in a previous video where I talk about how I get longer Airbnb stays than you, I did talk about these amenities, but let me quick blast through them. First, you want to supply parking. Even in major cities where parking may cost you money, if you want monthly guests or multi-week guests, you need a parking solution because people will drive into your town for like a business contract and they'll need a place to park because they took their car there. So people showing up in Philadelphia, like in, for example, is one of those things where people are like, oh dang, I didn't think that parking would be so hard. I need a better place to stay that allows me to park. And you providing parking could save them hundreds and hundreds of dollars in parking fees, which then turns into more profit for you because the savings you gave them in parking is a big deal. Now, laundry, you either provide a laundry service or you provide a washer and dryer in the unit or a um, worst case scenario, washer and dryer in the facility. Um, and you do that so that way people can do their laundry because anybody who stays more than a few days, obviously they're gonna have laundry to do. And if you can't allow somebody to do everything that they would normally do at home, you can't expect somebody to stay long-term. And then lastly, fully stocked kitchen. Airbnb even had a button for this that I clicked. So I, get, I probably can't show you on a screenshot, but it's like, do you have all the kitchen essentials? So it just makes you fast forward, like you have a kitchen, you have all the cooking utensils and everything and eating utensils. Um, it's such a big deal right now because monthly stays are such a larger portion of Airbnb's business lately that they're doing everything they can to show which listings are monthly stay ready and kitchen essentials are important. Because imagine if you live somewhere, you're much less likely to need to go eat out at restaurants all the time. You're gonna go to a grocery store. So um, also pro tip, add into your photo reel, like photos of how close you are to like a cool grocery store. Like it, with some of our listings to get the best monthly performance, which I showed you in that past video, we have like a picture of the Whole Foods that's next to our place in our photo reel, because we try to prove all of these things in the photos. So showing the fully stocked kitchen, showing the washer dryer, showing the like proximity to grocery stores, all this stuff can be like sold in your photo reel, not just in the description. Next is competitive creature comforts. We're talking about fast Wi-Fi. We're talking about a smart TV with apps. We're talking about desk space. We're talking about a water filter. We're talking about a really good coffee station that has the option to decaf and tea. All of these types of amenities will make somebody choose yours over someone else's because those little details are better. Quality pillows, quality linens, quality bed, all this stuff matters as well because those types of amenities, like a, like a high quality bed and pillows, will lead to somebody leaving you an excellent review because the bed is awesome. And that way when people go into the reviews to read, you're gonna get a lot of like positive testimonials that they love that you had good coffee and decaf and that you, they love that your, your like bed was of high quality um, and your shower be bathroom was really beautiful and stocked and clean and had everything that they could have ever needed for a long-term stay. People in the reviews will say, great for a long-term stay or great for a short trip. They'll actually identify that in your reviews. So if you want better reviews, the bed is like the number one purchase you need to make. Now the bed that I recommend, let me get into this list here so I can't like, so I don't waste time talking like jabbering, but the um, bed that I use is called Balance X. It's on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video. It's a kit link. It's like I curate all my stuff for my properties and you can go in and just buy um, whatever of these items that I buy that, that you would like. Like, so I've got certain stuff for the kitchen that I think is awesome. And that bed is the best. And I even got some pillows that I'm like, we absolutely have these types of pillows, like down alternative and then gel. 
Um, we have different types of pillows because different types of travelers sleep better on different pillows. So you need a variety because if you want to guarantee a good sleep, you need to respond to your guests. And the fact that your guests are diverse means your pillow game needs to be strong. Next, of course, is your design for your home. You need an attractive home design. You can, on a budget, make a great, like, like artistic design for the home that stands out. You know, good balance of colors and just good layout for the furniture. Proper scaling of the furniture so they fit inside of your home appropriately. Um, framing things on the walls properly so there's good symmetry. Adding plants. And that's one thing for this listing that I've noticed that we really need to like amp up on is we need a bunch of tall plants. Ikea sells these fake tall plant like tree replicas and they're great. We use them in Philly all the time. So we're going to order a bulk bunch for this new building that we're setting up here in like downtown Dallas. Um, here in DFW, we're actually setting up three or four buildings. We're setting up one in Houston. We're setting up a couple in Philly right now. We're doing a lot of new additions and it's October, early October, post COVID. So yes, Airbnb is still strong. It's still hot. There's still like a ton of opportunity and we're trying to take advantage by growing that business. So um, other artful design tips is try to use contrasting colors in like a unique way, like blue and orange. Those can make your photos pop more because those contrasting colors, since they're so opposite, they can intentionally create more like vibrance in your photos. Also rugs are super important. Rugs can really frame a space, especially the living room and the bedroom under a bed. You can buy a cheaper bed frame and then you can use a rug under it. Not only does that make it easier to like to keep your carpets cleaner, so you have to like professionally clean a little bit less, but it also allows you to create like a good unique look for your home. And I'll show you some photos of some, some ways that we've used carpets to really frame our bedrooms well. Next is you need local assistance or like live like a local amenities, which means you need to have like local activities researched. You need to have like a map for the area, like a list of recommended restaurants and fun things to do. You should be putting together like all the pro tips stuff that a local will know that a hotel just wouldn't really know or really spend time on doing that type of market research. By providing that stuff as soon as they walk in kitchen island kind of thing, it's like hostels. I've been staying in a lot of hostels when I've been traveling in Mexico and Colombia and stuff. And that's one thing that they really specialize in is you can stay somewhere for cheap and then they've got a billboard of like all the things that you can do in the city because nomads have no clue and they don't want to really do research or they don't have internet connection. So by doing the same thing, making it super easy for people to access some of the coolest stuff in the city, your listing will go above and beyond and this will, event, like, this will affect your reviews where people are like, man, the, these people have it down. They know exactly what they're doing that kind of live like a local stuff is going to bump you up compared to everybody else in your reviews. Next, you need reservation assistance signage. Um, so for example, you should have a, a picture frame that has your Wi-Fi information like on the wall or like on a slanty sign that can sit on the countertop. You want no smoking signs inside of your home to remind people not to smoke. Um, you need, you need like checkout assistance on the back of the door. So like you make a laminated, um, like sign on the back of a door when people leave, like, please don't forget your keys or here's how you return the keys. Please check these things before you leave, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your stay, right? And then also you can have a welcome card that sits like on a slanty sign on the kitchen counter that says, hey, welcome to the space. Um, my name is blank. I'm your manager. So happy to have you. We try our best to give everybody a five-star stay. If you need anything, please reach out. Here's our phone number to shoot us a text. I'm so happy to have you once again. Welcome to Houston, Dallas, Philadelphia. And that welcome sign will help as well. So those are reservation assistance stuff. So they have all the resources they need to contact you. They know how to work the internet and any other things that they need passwords for on signage, reminders to not smoke or any other signs that you think are important. And of course, when they leave, they need to know what to do without checking the app. So put that on your door. And then security, you need um, camera systems. I prefer cameras outside the front door so you don't technically have to like worry about people talking about privacy, invasion, um, and you can have some wireless battery operated cameras like Wise or Blink that allow you to like have it outside your front door, weatherproof, which is really nice. And then you want a Minute system. Minute does noise monitoring, motion detection, humidity sensing, temperature sensing, all these different things. Um, and that way, if it gets too loud inside of a home after hours, you can know that somebody's violating your like noise rules and you can send them a message and say, hey, you need to quiet down. That this prevents you from getting complaints, um, getting complaints in your building from neighbors, getting you reported to the city for being a nuisance. Minute prevents those situations. 
and then you can send a security officer if they don't quiet down. We use this to be basically have a rapid response protocol to parties. So security is important, but those are the only two bits of gear that you need. You're talking like less than $200 in total security out the door, which is nice. So now let me give you a highlight reel of some of my favorite Airbnb products, amenities that I think that you are absolutely going to love for your space. First, the Home Hero knife set. I can't say enough cool things about it. It just looks super cool. It sits on the countertop well. It's great. Get one of those. Next, get a electric kettle. Get a water kettle so people can make their own tea. Um, this, if you use a kettle, you don't have to get a whole coffee station. You could just get a pour over coffee maker, which is actually easier to clean. I recommend pour over systems over regular coffee machines because people don't wash their coffee stations enough and they look nasty. If you're gonna buy a coffee pot, buy a white coffee station. It helps housekeepers check to make sure the thing is clean. When it starts to get tan, you can notice that it's dirty where this is much harder to catch with a, with a black coffee station. Brita water filters inside your fridge, absolutely important. It looks way more like home than water bottles. So go with the Brita filter, fill that thing up every reservation. And then when somebody opens that door, they get tons of filtered water. They really appreciate that. Your smart TV, I recommend Fire TVs, but there are other ones out there. And get Disney Plus. Um, it's still a thing right now. We advertise that we have Disney Plus in our listings. When it first came out, we got tons of more bookings because people wanted to watch it and we had it. And it's a super cheap membership. So stay tuned for other new streaming services or whenever anything is trending. So if there's a new show out on HBO and HBO becomes super popular, invest in HBO at the time. If like, Disney Plus is popular because of Mulan, buy Mulan, right? Spend the 30 bucks on Mulan and then put, all, put it on all of your TVs. And until December 3rd, when it comes out publicly for everybody, you've got the inside track on Mulan. People are saving 30 bucks to watch that movie by staying with you. That's huge. So do stuff like that because that gives you that leg. Again, the Balance X mattress, um, these Beckham pillows, these gel pillows, super wonderful pillows. And of course, Down Feather Alternative, awesome. Ikea for the plants. They have the best house plants ever. Like you can get all sorts of different looks, shapes and sizes and they will make your home look so much better. Um, we go to a place called At Home for a lot of our like wall art. Um, Amazon can get you some wall art. You know, you can get a little bit on Amazon, but I would recommend going to places um, like Marshall's Home Goods or, you know, like places like that to try to find some wall art as well because they've got some really cool stuff and you can get it on the cheap a lot of the time. If you wanna go luxury, you know, you wanna like just have a really cool feel, add some smart home devices. Like an Amazon Fire TV or an Amazon Echo, something like that. Pro tip if you do this though, you need to turn off one touch or one click purchases and you need to add a password, just like with your smart TV, you need to add a pin to prevent people from making purchases through the remote as well. Because with one touch purchases or one click purchases, you can make purchases on Amazon Echo for things. And the last thing you want is for people to buy stuff, buy pay-per-view movies or anything like that without your permission. But that allows people to play music, get Amazon Music Unlimited. Um, and it allows people to like say, hey, I wanna watch this or hey, turn on Netflix. And it makes it easier for people to navigate the TV through voice instead of having to use the stupid remotes that don't have like a keypad. I really think that adds an extra level of convenience and people may actually return to your homes as a way, or, and people may actually return to your homes because you've done something like this. For the bathroom, get one of those magnifier mirrors, you know, the one that has the one X and you flip it over, it's like five or 10 X, it's a makeup mirror, get one of those get a blow dryer and invest in a hair straightener too. Have a blow dryer and a straightener in your bathroom. Totally cool. Have like a basket that has like your makeup towels and your other kind of like, you know, salon stuff in there. Um, stuff that's reusable. So you're not overspending on perishable stuff that keeps disappearing, but you're spending money on stuff that stays there that gives your bathroom that value um, and that of course will get you more female travelers who are like, oh, just in case I forgot something, you know, like I'm gonna book this just in case I get forgetful because it's gonna have it when I get there. Um, and that peace of mind helps. And to make sure you buy like a ceramic hair straightener. Don't go buy some super cheap one. Do your homework. And if you have any like Eastern Europe, Asian travelers, like African travelers, if you have anybody from like the Eastern part of the world who travels to your city with frequency, buy a rice cooker absolutely buy an electronic rice cooker. 
there are going to be people who are traveling from China, Japan, like Eastern Europe, like Turkey, other places like that, anywhere that rice is a staple to their diet, India, and they're gonna see that rice cooker and they're gonna choose your space because it's gonna make it so easy for them to cook. Absolutely so easy for them to cook, so do that. And I even get asked on a frequent enough occasion for rice cookers in the various cities that I'm in. That we, of course, like I said, we cater to a diverse market. So you should be using those um, if you're one of those diverse areas. If you're in the middle of like, like a, just a vacation rental town where people from Chicago come down to your vacation rental, not as important, but if you have world travelers, use it. And lastly, my favorite item that we're using to increase our revenue by increasing our guest count is rollaway beds. Instead of doing sleeper sofas that break and need maintenance, and you don't get a lot of variety with your sleeper sofa, like with the sleeper sofa market, by getting rollaway beds, they just fold up, they can roll into a closet, they're out of the way, and you can sleep individual people on these rollaway beds. And it's modular. If you have an apartment complex like this, we've got 10 par of like apartments we're picking up in this building, we can buy six rollaway beds and we can advertise that they're all, that they all have one, and we just shift them around when somebody needs one because not every single reservation is gonna have five people. Some are just gonna have two and they won't need the rollaway bed, stuff like that. So use the rollaway beds to be more modular. It's a lower cost. Um, it, it basically, since they're smaller too, you have less sheets to do. Um, it's super helpful because people rarely stuff two people on a sleeper sofa unless they're kids. Um, so, you know, use the rollaway beds. They've done wonders for us and they last a lot longer and the mattresses are way more comfortable. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to share this with your host friends and like that video. The like kit stuff is in the like the description so you can like click those links and take a look at everything that we buy for our Airbnbs. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the other side. Hi.